Now, I saw a video a couple of days ago by one of the people I'm subscribed to. I don't know how to say his name, so I'm not going to say it. And he said that credit is a scam. Um, I don't agree with him because credit empowers you. It really, truly does. Like, I just got a credit card last week for $11,500. So, I got now I got credit in the amount of about, I don't know the exact number, but it's about $22,000. And how much of that money is actually used up? Or how much out of the $22,500 that I have for credit, about $1,200 of that money is on the credit card basically so I got about 21,000 of the 22,000 available to me which is like what reparations is kind of, it's like I got $22,000 just sitting for me to use how I want to but I ain't using it because well number one I know I got to pay it back and number two it's not going to get me anything that I don't already have I've already got a dependable car I've already got clothes I don't wear jewelry I don't have a girlfriend to waste money on her I don't have children to support, so I'm just sitting on, and 22000 it's not like I'm saying I'm rich, but I feel empowered now, because if anything happens that I don't have the immediate cash for, I can pay for it on that. And, you know, one, the one credit card is about, well, it's about interest-free for the first 15 months, so I'm going to get my car paid down, put a couple thousand dollars on that, and then pay, the, pay it off in the 15 months. But it, it empowers me. It's, not, it's only a scam for people that think they should go out and buy cars or buy accessories for their cars, clothes, jewelry, waste that money. I'm not even going to take a vacation with that money. I'm, I'm just having it there so I can just continue to feel empowered. When you got credit and you ain't using it, that's showing that you've got money and you've got discipline and responsibility. Those are the type of people that deserve reparations. Now, could you imagine giving Pookie and Ray Ray 22 that That's why credit card rates are so high and cell phone charges are so high because you got low life people like my half brother that I've talked about. He's the type that will get a cell phone from a promotional like the company will be doing a promotional cell phone thing where the rates are cheap and the minutes and all that run the minutes up and not pay the bill. He did that. And this is why we pay a lot. I don't think Chris ever had a credit card. Because if he did, he would have ran that motherfucker up. And would have paid shit on it. That is, and and that, those are the people. There's too many of us that are like that. Getting handouts and taking advantage of the shit. And fucking it up for everybody. But credit empowers you though. I don't care what nobody says. Those people that say credit is a scam. I gotta think. Would get their credit card run it up and then pay the minimum payment and then wonder why they can't get out of credit card debt it's one thing to get in credit card debt but to get out of it i've gotten out of like ten thousand dollars of credit card debt i had my one credit card was maxed out eight of the ten thousand was used up it took me damn near two years to pay it off still borrowing money putting shit on it it took two years and now that's over with uh-uh I'm not going to be running up no more credit cards no more. What I'm going to use that credit card for, like I said, pay that car off and then do home improvements. Maybe take a vacation at the end of it all. But you're not even supposed to use no more than 30% of what the available credit is anyway. That's another trick of the trade as to how you don't you don't want to have $10,000 in credit but have 7000 of it used up. You want to have 3000 no more than 3000 so it looks like you got it, you using it, and you're using some type of discretion. But credit empowers you. Fuck what anybody says.